G'day everybody, it's Oman here just showing off my RPG, The Architect, which is the new name from the old Hell's Awakening RPG. I'm just going to be showing off a couple systems, now let's get into it. Okay, well first up we've got the Attribute System, which is just like any other Attribute System really. And I've got a nice colour-coded menu for maximum noob comprehension. Uh, yeah, okay, so there's just the five attributes, Dexterity, Essence, Fortitude, which are like the combat ones, and Serendipity and Charisma, which are the economy-based ones. And really, you get about three points per level, which you can just assign to whichever attribute you prefer. And no, there's no respecking, which is good, because I think this will add a lot of diversity and replayability to the map. Alright, let's go to the next one. Alright, here we meet the merchant, lovely fellow, with his little pet there. And yeah, you can interact with pretty much anything in the game just by using the shuttle system. You just right click to move the shuttle and interact. Same thing with talking to people. Interact, that brings up the menu, and using the shuttle system, you can interact with people like that to talk to them or to buy stuff in this case. Here we're buying consumables. These are the four main consumables that you use to get through the game, just basic heal, meta, regen, and some other miscellaneous stuff like the teleport back to town and uh, monster lure ability. Now let's see them in action. And once again you'll notice the same sort of colour coding system that I've grown pretty fond of. Now your health herb, just typical regen's health. Uh, ethers, yeah, mana is actually represented as best being in the game. So, and uh, each each class sort of uses mana differently. Like the warrior, he'll have to go in combat to build it up, and he's out of combat, and he starts losing his mana, which you can see right now in the top right. And uh, yeah, the blue stone was just teleport back to town. Now we're heading out to the wilderness to fight all the monsters. You'll notice all the monsters junkyard dog around and respawn dynamically as well as having their own set of spells which they use to try and kill you. Now moving on to the mercenaries you can hire them and they're basically just player controlled units that also can follow you automatically which I'll show in a second. First let's just hire a couple each one has their own sort of advantages and disadvantages depending on your playstyle really. You can use it to tank or extra damage or whatever you want really. Alright, now I'll show off how to move them around. See how they just follow you automatically. You don't actually have to control them, but if you want to you can. It's sort of your choice. They'll attack automatically as well. So yeah, I think they should make a pretty fine addition to your fighting force. Now we're going to look at something. Uh, yeah, right, the uh, level up system. You get experience by killing monsters, doing quests, and uh, that sort of thing. Now we'll just quickly try and level up here. We're at level zero, which is what you're not usually supposed to be at, but since I've rigged it, that's what the level we're at. Okay, here it goes. So attribute points, new spells, and uh, sometimes new spell hotkeys as well, which we'll look at in a second. Alright, spells. Should I open up your journal, go into the spell book, and you can equip spells to pretty much any hotkey you want. So, you'll actually end up getting way more spells than you actually have hotkeys. So, I think that will add a lot of build diversity and replayability also. I'm just going to put on teleport and just strike for now and then we'll go into the wilderness and give them a little try. Yeah, remember metas for metas vest being. You'll notice me trying and failing to kill that critter. So I'll change it up. This is another spell 
long reach harpoon which pulls enemies closer towards you. The same sort of deal, you just equip it using the same system. I sort of try and get spells to sort of have synergies with each other, like that one pulls them in, Just Strike is a melee only spell, so you use them in tandem for the best effect. Now we're just going to look at another spell, this is a combo spell which you get later on in the game. How it works is like, if you press it quick enough you'll get all three stages of the combo. Pretty awesome. Now up next we're just going to have a look at some mini games. This is just the quick time events I've got into the system. That one's just a typical spam fest. Just click as fast as you can to try and get the reward. You'll see these little rifts open up across the wilderness. You've got to try and get to them. And this one's the mining event. Just uh, try and interact at the right time to get the ore. Now let's look at, this is just, oh yeah, the day and night system as well. Just vision increase, monsters become difficult, more difficult, that sort of thing. And now we're going to look at, oh yeah, dying. I've got a respawn system. Just so, I always found that really annoying in RPGs where if you die, you always have to go back to the lobby and remake, especially in the multiplayer games. So I've added a respawn system so you don't have to worry about that. And now we'll just look at one more important thing, this is just the item system, which is what I'm most proud of, it's pretty trigger extensive. We're in the overview section where you just see which items I've got equipped, which I've just rigged for the moment to show all the separate aspects. You've got the affixes on the right, and later on you can actually enchant the items as well, like in the, later in the game. So yeah, I think that will probably be really interesting for players. You get items just, you know, killing monsters. You can craft them with all the different crafting materials. Quests, you can gamble for them. Yeah, that sort of thing. You might as well look at the rest of the menu as well. Uh, just the quests menu that just shows your objectives. You haven't done any quests yet. Uh, the law, same sort of thing. We haven't unlocked any law, but you can get law entries. And, uh, oh yeah, trading. Uh, that's just simple as well, you just trade with your players, your allies, uh, gold, consumables, items, and uh, yeah, crafting components. You can pretty much, anything you can actually pick up in the game, you can trade it with each other. So I think that will be pretty fun for players. Right, well that pretty much wraps it up at this stage. I've just got one more little thing I'm going to show you, but I'll leave you to watch that. Uh, keep checking back for news. I'm continually working on this. It's taken a long time, but I feel like I'm at the end now. Hopefully, in a couple months, I'll be releasing a version. Uh, it'll either be the full version or it'll be the halfway done version, depending on my progress. Anyway, enjoy the next scene.